start by putting on a large hook guide with a nanotube. Slide her up on the mandrel and start our thread. Right at the back base here. Take your rabbit strip and if it's got some crinkles in it at all you can actually give it a stretch and once you stretch it it should all straighten out real nice I like to cut the tip at a point find a good lengthy look Looks good to me. Go and tie her in. Alright, give the rabbit a pull. Make sure she's in there real good. Add a little flash. I'm going to add some steelhead ice. Angel here. If you wet it, I just kind of run it through my, just kind of lick it. It tames it down pretty good, so you can control it. So go on both sides, create your V. Tie that in. Give her a cut. Grab some ostrich churl. I'm going to go about four on each side here. Slopping. I want the fluff that's on the bottom. So I'm going to strip the stem to where I still have some of this marabou like stuff down in this area. And the stem gets pretty thick in here, so what you can do to help it make more flexible is smash it with your thumb and forefinger. And that will make it pliable. And what it'll also do is if it gets a little too thick when you wrap it they have a tendency to split while you're wrapping and this will alleviate that as well so I'm just kind of pick a spot here I don't want this to be like crazy hackled but we do want a pretty decent collar on here turn tip first Spread out this dubbing. Dub her on. This is going to go on fairly heavy. And 
fairly loose. So you can see I got quite a bit here. Alright, I'm going to zap. Throw in my bead. Kind of see where we're at here. That's looking pretty good. But I'm going to give this a little bit of the Velcro treatment. This should be set. Yeah, we're good. All right. Pop it off. Give her a trim. All right. Back with the layer. Give her a good burn. Throw it back in the mandrel. Make sure the hole is clean. And there you have your finished sylvanator. Ready to go catch some fish. Super effective fly for all conditions. Um, probably one of the fishiest bugs um, you could fish for steelhead I mean it's it's just a better egg sucking leech um, the rabbit is better than woolly bugger the bead helps it sink nice and deep um, yeah killer fly uh, must have for any river anywhere anytime summer spring or summer spring winter fall uh, and all the above and you can tie it we did an Instagram post on this this guy so there's no limit of colors you know you can make an egg sucking sculpin version or you can just make them pretty stupid long if you want if you're fishing big rivers like and this thing we're topping around probably four and a half inches on this guy so for the standard this one's actually a little bigger than standard but we're still you know a good half inch bigger than than big the, the factory fly I think comes in around two and a half inches um, but you can make them as long as you want for um, like big OP rivers where you're fishing big leeches and stuff so anyway super versatile um, lots of lots of fun to tie super easy to tie you can fill up a box in one night um, super effective, very durable, um, awesome fly all the way around, must have. Thanks for watching.